Hello YouTubers and 3D Studio Max lovers. In today's episode we're going to talk about tracking lights and how to attach an ES light or a Corona light with a target spot to, to a tracking light like this one. So yes, yeah, sometimes it happens that you have a scene like this and you just want to rotate your uh, tracking lights in the same time with your ES lights as you can see here. And yeah, this uh, can take some time and sometimes it's not uh, working very fast. Sometimes you just move the light first and then you rotate your tracking light and so on and this is taking a lot of time so today i'm gonna show you how to create uh, this kind of uh, tracking lights and how to connect the es light to your uh, tracking light so without further ado uh, let's move on So as you can see here, I already made this kind of light. I used 3D model from uh, Archi Products. It's called Martinelli Luce. Yeah, you can just go to this uh, link from here. I'm gonna leave it in the description and you can download the 3D model from, uh, from here. It's a Beam and CAD, so you can download from here the 3D model and uh, then you just save it on your computer. And after that, uh, yeah, you just need to import it in your uh, 3D Studio Max file. So what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna import mine. So I'm gonna start from scratch with a, with a file. So you see, you can see exactly how, uh, uh, yeah. You need to merge the object first. So let's go to folder where I saved the uh, object. This one, I'm gonna merge it. Okay, so as you can see, now I have my object in here. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna delete this one because we don't need it. So I, we're gonna recreate everything from uh, scratch. So the first thing that we need to do, it's uh, to ungroup, ungroup the object. So what we're going to do first is we're going to attach all of these objects into one object. Ungroup, fortunately, I need to do this by hand. So I'm gonna take the middle part and here I'm gonna collapse everything for now and i'm just gonna start attaching all the objects that i have in here as you can see and also the light in the moment that i also took the light the whole object uh, became a light material so what i'm going to do i'm gonna create a material id number one for the light and then with ctrl e i'm gonna apply a second material so here i already created that material but i'm gonna do it all over again for you to actually to see it so what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a multi sub object with two materials, one Corona physical material, which I'm going to attach in here. Uh, I'm going to make it a non metal. I'm going to make it black. I'm just going to use five here, almost black. And then I'm going to use roughness of 0.3. It's similar with this. Okay. Now I'm going to take a Corona light material and to this material, I'm going to connect this in the slot number two. To this material, I'm going to attach a Corona color, which I'm going to have it in here. And to this Corona color, I'm going to tell him that I want to have a yellow light. Also to this, I'm gonna give it like, I don't know, an intensity of 20. And now what I'm going to do, I'm gonna select my object, which you can see here, and I'm gonna attach this material. Okay, as you can see, I did it in the wrong way. So I'm gonna go here with the black material and with the light in here. So now I have the correct uh, materials into this. So what I'm going to do next, I'm gonna unhide all. I'm gonna take these two. I'm gonna minimize this, I'm gonna ungroup, I'm gonna collapse also this, yes, and I'm gonna attach it with this. So what's gonna happen now, I need to make this object, take the grid out, to make it rotate exactly inside here, in, into this U shape, and this one, I need to make it to rotate it only like this. The rest of the objects I can also merge them in one object oh uh, yeah it doesn't really matter okay for now this is perfect so what i'm going to do first what we need to do it's actually to move the pivot of this uh, uh, spotlight in here so in the moment that i'm gonna rotate this it's gonna start rotating from here because this is the pivot of the image so i'm gonna go on the left side and i need to find the middle of this part so how am i gonna do this i'm just gonna go here and I'm gonna create a line exactly in between these two points. 
So I'm gonna take the middle of this line and the middle of this line and I'm gonna create another line. So I'm just gonna go with 2.5 and I'm gonna select middle point here and by vertex. So I'm gonna go one and one. And now I'm gonna select my object and I'm gonna go to effect pivot to uh, hierarchy. And from here, I'm gonna take my pivot and move it here. And now I have the middle of this uh, uh, line okay and now if you see I can rotate if I rotate the object it's rotating exactly here in the inside so this is perfect this is what we need and now the second part we need to add our ES light or the uh, corona light so I'm gonna go to create corona corona light and I'm gonna select here the auto grid and now I'm gonna create in here a light I don't need a spotlight because uh, we need a we need a a disc light so now we have the disc light and I'm just I'm just gonna go in the front view left view and I'm just gonna move this light somewhere here in the front of the spotlight is it in the middle now it's going to be I need to go on 3d here and now I think it's in the middle yeah now it's perfect okay next we're gonna go here and do a wireframe to our spotlight and the uh, last thing that we need to do to our spotlight is to show a target so this is our target so i'm gonna select the target because it's in the back of the object and i'm just gonna move it in front okay so now we have our our target light so i'm gonna try to align it as much as possible with our spot in this case okay so what we need to do next is to move the pivot of this light in the same place as the lamp so uh, as i said you need to affect the pivot but only for the light not also for the target so only for the spotlight so i'm gonna go on the left view i'm gonna select my light and i'm gonna go to a line and i'm gonna choose apply and okay so now spotlight is in the same place as my uh, lamp i'm gonna call it so if i go back to the left view as you can see they are both in the same place so this is perfect so what do i need to do now is to create also here to this uh, u-shape that is the arm of the of the lamp to create also to create to change the pivot also so i'm gonna go to affect pivot and i'm just gonna go to the left side made the, the wrong selection so i'm gonna go to my uh, u-shape on the left side and i'm gonna say affect pivot and I'm gonna change also this one to the same object. It doesn't really matter about the X and Y position, only the Z position, because this is an object that is only going to revolve, it's not going to rotate also. So I'm gonna give it an OK. So now we have, uh, as you can see for this object, now we have for this object the position here, and for this one, it's exactly in the same place. So right now they are uh, kind of working together very well. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna attach the corona light to the lamp, and then we're gonna attach the lamp to the U shape, and that's it. So let's start. So first of all, we need to go, uh, most of the time, uh, this is a little bit non-intuitive, it's working the other way around. So what you need to do is actually to link your lamp to the spotlight. So we're gonna, I'm gonna select the lamp and I'm gonna go here, select and link. And now when it's becoming yellow, as you can see, now it's attached. So you can check that right away because if, if you did a good job, they should move together. So as you can see, uh, we did the correct uh, link. The problem is that this is also moving on the other directions. Okay, in the moment that we're gonna link our U-shape to the lamp. Okay, now we have it with the right click you on uh, unselect object. So right now, if I move this, we should see that it's working. The only problem is that as you can see, the L-shape that we had here, it's also moving in the same time with the target spot so how we can uh, change that it's very easy we go here to the hierarchy and to the link info and here we need to tell to the program that we don't want the u-shape to rotate on x and y 
we only want to rotate on the Z because this is an object that it needs to rotate only like this. So in the moment that I'm gonna do that and now if I move the object as you can see it's working perfectly. So if I go up and I rotate it's working uh, amazing. The last thing that we need to do is to select all the objects, including the light, but not the target spot. We select all of them together and we go here to group to assembly and say assembly and we call, call this spotlight 01. And now if you select any object from this group, uh, it's just going to be selected. Uh, as you can see, the target spot, it stays in the same place. So even if I move this, the target spot stays always there but uh, it, yeah this is uh, a very helpful uh, thing because in this way these objects are not uh, uh, merged together in one object so you don't lose them by moving them in, the, in your scene if you want to move all of them you just make a selection for all of them and you move them but uh, if you want to move only the spotlight you move only the spotlight and if you want to move only the target spot you move only the target spot in case you need to enter again into this object to make some changes in the modifier because now it's called a luminaire you need to go again back to group assembly open assembly and then you can make selection inside your assembly and if you want to close it you go back to assembly and close and as you can see it's like this so this was the today's uh, uh, lesson in case you liked it please don't forget to subscribe it really helps my channel i'm gonna try to make each week a new video about about uh, 3d studio max corona and v-ray in the future for those who want to download this uh, file without doing the whole uh, youtube video they can just go to my patreon and they can just download the, the file from there please don't share this video with your friends if you have friends that are using corona or if you have friends uh, learning architecture or interior design these videos for sure they're gonna help them uh, uh, in their career so that was everything for today see you in the next one thank you bye